Hello. Not many of us like waiting. Not me, nor the people I keep waiting. Uh, for those living in the path of Hurricane Irene this week, waiting has been a tense and difficult time of preparation. Already we've seen the trail of damage it's caused across the Caribbean, and it's increasing in force as it moves towards the east coast of the US. Once hatches are battened down and people are evacuated, there's nothing much that can be done but prayer, which is not to say that prayer is the last resort. Uh, but let's join with those who will be affected and pray for minimal damage and that no lives will be lost. For those already impacted by the hurricane across the Caribbean, let's pray for a quick recovery. The waiting in Libya is the wait for a new beginning. People still shelter at home, afraid to venture out until they know that Gaddafi's regime has fallen. In fact, it has fallen, and it's just the colonel, his family and supporters who won't accept it. Let's keep praying that loyalists will surrender and that the new leaders will bring the positive change that Libya so desperately needs. On Word Life today, we see the embodiment of poor leadership in the religious leaders of Jesus' time. The Pharisees were supposed to be waiting for the Messiah, but had got too busy with the outward trappings of their religious power to recognise him when he turned up. As Christians, we are called to offer a lead to other people through our words and actions that demonstrate Christ consistently. True leadership offers freedom, love and justice, not restrictions, fear and oppression. Let's pray for a little more of that for the governments throughout the world today. See you.